Today, we will be trying out the newest from Squad Cosmetics and that is itong Serum Blush. It's been a while, no? Since the last time na naglabas ang Squad ng bagong product, kaya when I saw this and nung nag-message sila, sobrang happy ko kasi mukhang promising. And also, ito nga pala yung PR package nila, guys. And as you can see, I have here the complete collection. 199 pesos yung price nito according sa kanilang Shopee and each bottle contains 10 ml. It also says sa kanilang description that yung product meron siyang aloe vera, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E. As for description, ang sabi lang dito is, it is a multi-use active glow tint for the eyes, cheeks, and lips. So yun guys, medyo confusing kasi diba ang tawag is serum blush tapos multi-use siya. I mean yes, ano naman talaga, pwedeng gawin yun but medyo... Anyway, this is how the packaging looks like. And to be honest, ano lang siya sa akin, so-so lang. It's not the best, but it's not the worst as well naman. And it is made of glass. Applicator looks like this. And as you can see, hindi siya brush. Yung pinaka-tip niya actually is parang rubber yata or silicone. So yeah, for me, packaging-wise, it's just okay. But also, can I just say, ha, since I'm a big fan of Squad, and sa akin lang naman to, ha, feeling ko it's about time para i-improve nila yung packaging, yung branding, yung logo. I swear, quality-wise, okay na sila. It's just that the packaging sometimes, when you look at them, parang hindi ganun kaano eh, di ba? Eye-catching. Di ba, when you look at the products, parang may disconnect yung quality and also yung packaging. Sana same time ng feeling kasi, ayun nga, I feel like sobrang outdated na and kailangan nang i-improve talaga. Again, that's just my opinion, but of course, kung bet nyo yung branding ng Squad, eh di, good for you. Again, they have total of 11 shades. At yung mga contour shades and from top to bottom, yung mga shades are mousse, toffee, truffle, and hazelnut. Atong first two shades, mousse and toffee, to be honest, I don't see myself using for contouring. Masyado kasing warm yung undertone and yung kulay. Truffle and hazelnut, I can see myself using, but mainly si truffle. Atong kasing shade na hazelnut, I feel like medyo reddish yung undertone. Especially sa personal, guys. Makikita nyo talaga, yung undertone nyo is red. Compared dito kay, dito kay truffle. May konting ano din siya, warmth, may konting red, but I feel like mas okay nga sa skin ko yung kulay niya. Anyway, moving on sa blushes or pigment as they call it, at yung swatches and from top to bottom we have the shades sorbet, lava cake, and red velvet. And to be honest, wala akong kulay na bet, guys. <laughs> Totoo lang. Nakukulangan ako sa kulay ng blushes, guys. Tatlo lang. Bakit walang pink? I swear to God, we need to move forward. Kasi yung mga ganitong shades, parang sobrang nakakasawa na eh. Diba? Sana man lang nag-add sila ng something na, you know, fresh tignan sa skin, bright, and perfect for summer. And again, guys, ito naman yung highlight shades na meron sa collection. Again, four shades. And from top to bottom, we have glazed, parfait, maple, and pavlova. Itong shade na glaze, guys, sa personal and to my eyes, parang medyo may pagka-champagne yung color. Second shade is, again, parfait. Pink siya na merong gold glitters. Ito namang shade na maple, medyo may pagka-bronze. Tapos dito naman kay Pavlova, iridescent siya. Parang clear lang siya, tapos pure na glitters, na pinong-pino. So, it just looks nice, ba? Kasi parang, ano eh, wet look. Nagkikris na yung foundation ko, Bev. <laughs> For contouring, yung shade na gagamitin ko nga pala is si Truffle. Mag-start tayo sa nose and sa isang side lang muna. Tapos konti lang kasi mabilis naman magdagdag, ba? But anyway, ayan. I-blend natin siya. It's actually blending nicely, but yung color lang. Especially sa personal, guys. You can see na talagang reddish yung undertone. But it still works naman, ba? Look at that. Formula is nice. Mabilis siyang i-blend. And it doesn't look patchy. To be honest, hindi ako big fan, guys. Gumamit ng mga liquid or cream for contouring. But in fairness, look at that, oh. Diba? It's very easy to use and it doesn't take so much time sa pag-blend. It's very easy to blend since nga liquid siya and also hindi siya yung ano, klase ng formula na parang sobrang thick. Hindi din siya yung sobrang greasy. Dimethicone or silicone kasi and water yung main ingredient. Hence, it's very easy to blend and sheer. Personally, sa akin guys, ngayon, I don't mind kahit hindi ganun ka-intense yung pigment. Especially sa blushes, mas prefer ko yung something na pwedeng i-build up rather than something na kapag kanilagay mo intense agad. For everyday use, this is really good kasi diba, sobrang natural, sobrang Sobrang subtle. Hey guys, lagay lang tayo dito ng... Hindi ko gusto yung applicator kasi parang wala siyang kaano-ano. Diba plastic lang siya na nakabent? <laughs> Sana yung parang pang lip gloss na lang or liquid lipstick na ano, diba? Applicator, doe foot. But anyway, ayan, i-blend natin siya. Hindi naman na-disturb yung aking foundation so far. I can definitely see myself using this for contouring. May tendency lang maging muddy to feeling ko kapag ka napadami. Kaya you have to be careful. But for the sake of trying, of course, ayan, i-build up natin siya. By the way, yung gamit ko nga palang brush is yung Real Techniques na contour brush. 
tagal na nito, 3 years na ato or 4 years sa akin. And yung pigmentation niya, actually, it's not intense. At least, dito sa shade na to, guys, ha? Kaya you don't have to worry because I feel like kahit medyo mapakapal ng konti yung nilagay nyo, hindi siya nakakatakot since you have ample time para i-blend. Hindi naman siya yung mabilis mag-set and kapag ka nilagay mo sa isang area, nandoon na lang. For blush, ang susubukan natin today is itong shade na Lava Cake. Again, wala akong gusto sa mga shades kasi nga, there's nothing new. But of all the shades, I feel like ito yung isa sa mga feeling kong passable and magagamit ko. Kaya, ito na lang. Nagawa tayo ng kon Side view tayo para makita nyo. And let's see. In fairness sa formula, sobrang bilis i-blend. Kung kayo yung klase ng tao na hindi mahilig sa heavy makeup or kaya blush and concealer lang okay na, you will definitely enjoy this. Kasi nga yung finish niya very skin-like. As you can see, parang nag-melt lang sa skin. Sobrang natural. Although ayun nga, sayang lang kasi walang pink, coral. Kasi feeling ko mas ano eh, mas nice kapag ganong shades, di ba? Mas magpa-pop siya and mas bright tingnan, mas maaliwalas. These shades kasi, I don't know, for some reasons when I look at them, especially kapag kasi watch parang ang lungkot ng kulay, di ba? Or siguro parang ano na din ako talaga nagsawa because nga di ba halos lahat ng mga brands na naglalabas ng multi-use product ng blushes na cream or liquid palaging ganito yung mga shades that they have yeah hindi ko talaga ano yung formula wise I'm really happy it's just that yung colors guys I feel like there's room for improvement hopefully soon maglabas sila ng ibang shades eto namang shade na parfait yung subukan natin sa kabilang cheek subukan lang natin kung ano yung itsura niya alam nyo guys sobrang init ngayon kaya yung foundation ko grabe ang haggard na this one is actually Nice. Kung wala kayong pores, this is going to look amazing. Kasi parang porcelain yung magiging finish niya. Parang glossy and wet look. But for those of you like me na merong skin textures, open pores, or visible pores, expect nyo nang maya-emphasize yung texture. Kasi usual naman yun eh. Especially kapag ka-shimmer yung product. Ganda sana ng pagka-pink. Sana may ganito din kulay sa ano, mga blushes. For highlight, yung shade na gagamitin ko is si Glazed. Yung champagne color. Okay, ta- Ooh, parang dami na to. Tapos, ayan. Tab lang natin siya. Ito siya guys, kapag nakalagay na sa skin, don't expect na sobrang ano niya, blinding, sobrang bright, parang dewy lang yung finish niya, it's not like super intense, as in sheer lang talaga siya guys. Kaya, if you're not into that, baka hindi ito para sa inyo, but if you're looking for something that you can use pang mix sa foundation, pang base sa highlight niyo, or just, you know, to use alone, para gawing glowy yung skin, then this might be for you. I'm very happy sa formula niya. Kasi kahit nakapag-powder ka na, it doesn't really like make your base patchy, especially if ano lang ha, dinadab niyo siya. Dito sa nose ko na wala yung foundation. I mean, dito sa cheeks, okay naman. Yung sa nose lang talaga ako nagka-problem, guys. But again, yung glow nga na binibigay sa skin looks really good. Subukan din natin si Pavlova, guys, kasi ang dami niyang glitters. Pinong-pino yung glitters, actually, but I wanna try it sa lid. I wanna see how it looks like. Ooh! This one I like. Ito feeling ko magagamit ko, guys. Sa lid, it actually looks good. Ang ganda nung reflect and color niya. Actually, ang ganda nito, guys. Pavlova. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do a wear test. And wala talaga akong time, guys, mag-wear test kasi nag-move ako ng apartment. And right now kasi, guys, it's already 1.35. Kaya yun, first impression lang yung maibibigay ko, sadly. Formula-wise, this one, considering its price na $1.99, actually, it's really good. It is lightweight, easy to blend, and also, hindi siya malagkit at all. Sobrang comfortable sa skin. Perfect for beginners, and also, hindi siya intimidating gamitin. Again, in my case, I'd rather use something like this one na kayang i-build up rather than something na kapag ka nga nilagay mo sobrang intense agad. Do you need all of them? Definitely not. Blushes, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the color selection because close sa isa't isa yung kulay. And also, hindi exciting. Pagdating sa highlight, of course, it depends na sa inyong skin tone kung ano yung bagay but sa akin yung shade na glazed yung perfect sa skin tone ko kasi diba as you can see sobrang seamless tignan kung naghahanap kayo ng pwedeng gamitan on top of a matte blush para gawing shimmery etong shade na may i-recommend ko is si Parfait which is yung pink na may gold shimmer kung yung hanap nyo naman is yung pwedeng ipang mix sa foundation sa BB cream or sa tinted sunscreen or even lotion again kung same tayo ng skin tone go with the shade glazed which is yung light champagne tapos if morena naman kayo go with maple which is yung parang medyo may pagka bronze pang mix sa foundation to make it a little bit darker especially kung sobrang light sa skin tone nyo, I suggest na yung shade na kunin nyo is either si hazel or si truffle. Feeling ko hindi naman maa-alter nitong product na to yung consistency ng foundation if ever na ipang mix siya. So yeah, for me guys, overall, okay naman yung product. But I suggest that if you're planning to get this, get one or two shades muna. I'm definitely gonna keep this sa aking collection because I don't have anything like this. But siguro yung ikikip ko lang are shades na alam kong gagamitin ko because this is too much guys. Sobrang dami nito. I guess yung ikikip ko lang is si Parfait, Pavlova, Truffle, 
Control, which is yung pang contour ko. Glazed as well, which is yung highlight ko. And also, si Lava Cake. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Stay safe. And I hope to see all of you again on my next one.